Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Peace and blessings as well as health and wellness to the house of David the elect. All right, we well, are the GMS Mississippi Camp. And today we're going to go into an important topic uh, for the for the hopeful elect, man, entitled Save It for the Kingdom. All right, and Bucket Shot, you get that in Proverbs, actually. Okay. To, uh, to the simple, you give it discretion. Okay. All right? Because basically, with the spirit of power, you have our small shy, we want to push something called good judgment, man, in proper context. Certain perks we're not going to have into the kingdom. Right. And all men desire power and it's a good feeling to feel empowered right. it's a refreshing feeling to come from being slaves to workers to knowing i'm you're actually a ruler right. and you're the chosen right. and you're better than everybody right. but you're still here right. Right. and it's the way you have to move when you're here to keep you from getting into unnecessary trouble right. all right and this is um proverbs one and four to give subtlety to be simple to the young man knowledge and discretion to the young man, knowledge and discretion. And if a brother could look up the word discretion, all right? To the young man, knowledge and, and uh, discretion, man. All right? Because that's what that's one of those key things you have to have in this kingdom. See, it's one thing to keep the laws. Mm -hmm. But it's another thing to have a good judgment on top of that. All right? And we all have gone ahead, made simple mistakes, you know, had a lapse in judgment. But that's why we push this lesson to admonish brothers to you know, practice the art of having good judgment, man. Mm -hmm. All right. According to the um, Etiman discretion, ability to perceive and understand. Yep. Moral discernment, ability to distinguish right from wrong. Ability to distinguish right from wrong. Mm -hmm. So first and foremost, it starts with the laws. Mm -hmm. But th this society has more nuances, if that's the word, than just, you know, that should not kill, that should not steal. Yeah. You know, uh, don't eat pork, right. don't commit adultery. Right. There's gray areas in between that if you don't use discretion, you could get caught up in a lot of stuff, man. And if I can add, that's yep. why Apostle DeBar always states that applying the law is using common sense. Yep, applying the law is using common sense, which which, which really goes into the laws. It's like uh, Sirach, mm -hmm. the book of Sirach. That's right. It's really like a lot of good judgment scriptures. That's right. All right? Yeah. All right, then you can get uh, your scripture all things in my experience. Right, this is First uh, Corinthians. Chapter 10 and verse 23. All things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. It's not profitable. That's a beautiful scripture mm -hmm. because it's lawful to have four, four wives. Mm -hmm. It's lawful to have 10 wives. Mm -hmm. But man, you stay in an apartment. You make $11 an hour. Right. And, and your car got a service engine light. Right. You, you sure you need 11 wives or four wives? With right. them all living with you? With them all living with you? That's right. You know? And you already know how that you'll be under a woman to be under the Israelite spell for a minute. Mm -hmm. Then she could get disenchanted. Right. You don't want to get disenchanted with your you got three women, yeah. but seven kids total, right. and they get disenchanted and put you on child support. Right. Now you get garnished. Right. Now you say, fuck the black woman. Mm -hmm. Like, nah, man, you been know how he was, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right, but because you 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 had the understanding that I have a God given right, right to 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 sow my royal loins. Right. But you lack the discretion that this ain't your rest. That's right. You know? That's like uh, purchasing two trucks, but you can't afford them. You can't afford That's them, the same man. same thing with women, man. The reason why Floyd Mayweather is able to conduct that lifestyle because he can financially serve that lifestyle. And he right. said it in a documentary. Yeah. He was like, if you got 10 cars and you can, you, you can afford the maintenance of all 10 cars, then who can tell you not to have 10 cars? Exactly. He said that, man. That's right. But we, we are yet to stay in our captivity. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Right, right. The closest thing to polygamy is a side chick. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Or you just on Tinder and one, one go ghost you and you get another. You know how that go. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> hey, all things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. Now you're evolving. Right. Now you're going from, okay, I know I can't commit adultery. Mm -hmm. I know I can't steal. I know I got to grow a beard. Mm -hmm. But now you're evolving to doing things that's not beneficial to you. Right. I know I can have four or five women, but it's not beneficial right. for me because I can't afford that right now. Right. And that makes the kingdom that much more worth waiting on. That's right. That's right. 
How does okay. yep, no, you got it, bro. Yeah, we just in yep. the NLT. Yep. Like yep. Crash, yeah, I was saying like even more so now even just afford it, just like how they can get away in this ministry. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you're gonna yeah. put all your force, all your energy into this ministry That's instead right. of all these women. Yeah. Yeah. Well, until now, babe, bro, Apostle Paul had mentioned just dealing with one woman is a, is a distraction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now you got like three, four of them. You know, like mm -hmm. where's the time for the ministry? That's right. You know? Hey, verse 23 in the NLT, you say I am allowed to do anything. But not everything is good for you. You say I am allowed to do anything, but not everything is beneficial. Woo! And, and multiple wives are not beneficial. <laughs> Granted, there are brothers who probably have officially two wives. Right. You know, but that's not something that we're gonna put on the forefront. Right. Yeah. You know. And, and and those particular men can actually. They know how to pass yeah, it. You know, right. Most of them might have gave them that. Yeah, yeah, that's a gift. Mm -hmm. And you got to be able to look at a brother's situation and have the, the understanding and acceptance that I can't do what he do. Right, right. You know, you, you got brothers that got six packs, chisel, or uh, big bike stuff, and they eat garbage. But we let us mess around eat garbage for about three days. No, we be looking bloated, man. Like Roy Jones Jr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The current Roy Jones, you know. All right, come on. It's uh, Ecclesiastes 34 and 1. Right. The hopes of a man void of understanding are vain and false. Yep. And dreams look up fools. Hey, can you break it down? Yeah, so like uh, lack of spiritual discernment, of course you're going to go in error if you're not plugged into your own body and So that's where that spiritual understanding comes in by applying the scriptures and the knowledge, wisdom, and the spiritual understanding. You know? Yeah, that's my from the stock. Come, brothers. Yeah. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus. So rock in the Apocrypha. A man of counsel will be considerate, but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear. Man, you can't you can't walk in this kingdom being bold as a lion in, in, in stupidity. Right. It's one thing to be bold, but you have to have fear. You have to have, if I do this, this might happen. Mm -hmm. And look, even if a woman doesn't have a man, even if, you know, that is the case, certain women, it's just not, they're not right for you. Because right. that woman will throw your whole life upside down. Yeah. You just have to have good judgment. Yeah, yep. you know. Hey, so and um, recently, for uh, El Pasariam live, he did a live show uh, yesterday, and basically, the spirit just hop. Well, you know the whole lesson was in the spirit, but you know when when these spirits just like hop on a man, and it can appear random because it probably had nothing to do with what he was previously talking about. Because he was pretty much going into how uh, you know he, he saw the devil how they do our people, and our people that, like the way they live in this all due to our current situation dealing with the curses. But then out of nowhere, Pastor Ariyama started speaking about you gotta learn to follow the spirit. And it had nothing to do with the lesson, but you just, you know, yeah. he, he's like, man, you gotta learn to follow the spirit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you said, heeding to the warnings. Yeah. You know? Follow them signs. Follow them signs. But I, I got something for you. Uh, like what you doing? Add, add on to your point, bro. What you were saying, follow the spirit. One thing about the most high, you know, if something is beneficial for you, it's gonna be real convenient. You know, you're not gonna have to alter your schedule, you're not gonna have yeah. to alter who you are. You know, you're not gonna have to compromise your morals. Mm -hmm. You know, if something is of the most high and it's for you, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's yeah, follow, follow following the spirit. Okay. That's it. That's yep. right. That's right. And it's right, man, because uh, when you're going off your lust, you ignore all them caution signs. Yeah. Yeah. You're knocking over like uh, rail, you know, them blocks in the middle of the street. Okay. It's like, cause your lust, you're so driven by your lust. You ignoring the spirit waving at you like stop slow down, man. Yeah. Big ass red sign saying do not enter. Do not enter. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know? Toss the lights. Yep. <laughs> right. you so, walk, huh? Yeah, you walking up the steps, you know, the bloods and the crypts, you walking up past so like, right, right. <laughs> like, 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 you dice, yeah. yeah. You might see a stick on somebody's car wheel, yeah. you like, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> like you walk right past it. That's, uh, that's, that's how I work in the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I work in the spirit, man. Yeah. Verse um, 19 Do nothing without advice mm -hmm. And when thou hast once done Repent not Go not in the way wherein thou mayest fall So polygamy is lawful But that's the way wherein thou mayest fall mm -hmm. Another thing too You might get into the laws And say okay uh, When a woman hits puberty she's a woman now your grown ass <laughs> with these wrinkles in your forehead and this beard on your face right, right. is looking at a damn 15 year old right, man. Right. All right? That's going in a way where thou mayest fall, man. Right. We're another man's kingdom, man. 
Like a right. high school weight. At, at the junior high, that girl got on yeah, uniform. Yeah, yeah. With, she 14, y'all. Yeah, she 14. Hey, she could, come on, man. You got a handicap there. She bleeds. She got a handicap. Yeah, she could breathe. She could breathe. Yeah. She, well, uh, with a daughter spoil, a book bag, yo, grown ass, man. Yeah. All right? So if I can add, yeah. daughter, hey, who read the, uh, the beginning part of it? Gun. Ecclesiastes chapter 32, verse 19. Do nothing without advice. So basically, if you don't understand, you're supposed to receive counsel. Right. You're supposed to get yeah. their advice, right? Yep. Go yeah. ahead. And when thou hast once done, repent not. Yeah, so after the situation has been given to you, whether or not you should do it, and you say, okay, look, the best thing for me to do is not to do it, you don't supposed to grieve yourself right. because you didn't do it. Right. Hey, 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 you about to make a point? No, 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 no. Oh, you forgot your precept. This is all uh, going to what you were saying earlier. Okay, so a different situation for different brothers. Mm -hmm. This is all uh, First Corinthians chapter seven, verse seven. For I would that all men were even as myself. For every man has his proper gift of the Most High, one after this manner, and another after that. Yeah. And some men are really good with structure, mm -hmm. and they they really good with management. And they know how to handle that situation with a different woman and all that. But another bro brother, it'll throw off your equilibrium. Yeah. You know? So, hey, hey, you have to understand. Hey, oh, I know brothers holding scriptures, but if a brother could get, is it Sirach 37? Okay. Who got thrown in our life? I'm there. I'm there. Oh, okay. That's what okay. I have okay. It's a spirit. All right. Whoop your ass. That's the zeal. So Rock 37 and, and verse 28, beginning verse 27. My son, prove thy soul in thy life, and see what is evil for it, and give not that unto it. Hey, this brother don't drink, this brother do drink. I'm just saying in theory, yeah, hypothetically. Yeah. You gotta know that, man. This brother can take down six coronas and be good. Man, you out of there halfway through your first drink, man. Prove thy soul in thy life. You know, this brother might have uh, had a nice time the night before camp. And he was straight at camp. This brother had a nice time before camp. He threw. He on the side about the vomit, man. But you have to prove your soul in your life. But prove that soul in thy life and see what is evil. That's you gonna say hey, something. Outside, outside of carnality. Like life experiences, yeah. like going through different endeavors and situations is proven. You know, yeah. outside of the, the having fun and the clubs yeah. and the drinking yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Like it, it's above and beyond oh I'm satisfying my flesh. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like proving your soul. It's actually proving, okay, what's beneficial for my spiritual self. Yep, yep, you know, having yep. those carnal falls, what is, is, is making me closer or further away from Yahweh yeah. Shem Yahweh Shah? You know, because, because the scriptures already cover drunkenness. Yeah. The scriptures are already cover, uh, cover what's that, a, a, a superfluity? Yeah. What's yeah. that, sobriety, what you say? Uh, Riotiness. You know, Riotiness. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Excuse me. No, I mean, that's the beautiful point. Is is what's beneficial to your spirit. Uh, the elder brother made a beautiful point. It's not just about pleasing your flesh, all right? And that's part of your growth. It's not repeating the same mistakes either. Yeah. Well, a point you had made before, uh, according to how basically even dealing with the situation revolving around a woman, the Lord will give you a woman to balance you in the truth, not yeah. to take you out of the truth. And every give you one, you know? Hey, well, hey, that's a beautiful point. And everything he gives you, everything he gives you is for the benefit of the truth. Yeah, that's it. That's how you Everything you do is for the sake of the truth. Even when we were talking about, you know, drinking or whatever, really, that's just to balance you out mm -hmm. so you can be in the ministry. That's if you do drink, yeah. you know? Or well, if you take things away, it's to balance you out. It's to balance you out because yep. now you was, yeah. it was being abused yeah. or it might have served its purpose for that particular period of time, yeah. Yeah. you know? All right. For all things, this is back in Sirach 37, verse 28. For all things are not profitable for all men. Yep. Neither have every soul pleasure in everything. Yeah, you know, all things are not profitable for all men. And that's part of evolving in this truth. It's not copying and pacing yourself about like how like how another brother moves, man. All right? Yeah, so. All right, go ahead. This uh fall back in Sirach 37, verse um starting at verse 12. But be continually with a godly man whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord, whose mind is according to thy mind. And will and will sorrow with thee if thou shalt miscarry, and let the counsel of thy own heart stand, for there is no man more faithful unto thee than it. For a man's mind is sometimes one to tell him 
more than seven watchmen yep. that sit above in a high tower. Mm -hmm. So understand. if you got brothers, you know what I'm saying, who are giving you counsel and instructing you on things that might not be beneficial for you and for your spirit or your body, man, then you need to hearken to that, man. Mm -hmm. Especially, you know, because when you have counsel, man, you know, the Lord requires, you know, if one brother bring two brothers or uh, multiple oh, yeah. brothers, man, to uh, uh, reconcile or get a situation with an understanding, man. But if you're going to take away from that and walk away and do exactly what they told you not to, that's not being smart, man. And that's just how we start talking to you. Yep. Good. Them counselors are spiritual, man. Yeah, that's yep. right. Yeah. You know? Exactly. All right. You're going a lot. This is Proverbs chapter 30, verse 8. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Mm. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Because poverty will keep you in survival mode. And that'll keep your thoughts out of the way of the most high. All right? And then excessiveness or superfluity, that'll choke out the spirit. Mm -hmm. So the most high gonna give any every brother his, his particular balance. Now your balance might be you make more money, you have more leeway in the world, but your balance might be your might your life might be a little more restricted, a little more rigid. All right, but that's your balance that he gave you, you know? And all to engender production in the spirit, man. Yeah, and my point uh you made through spirits and years back, um framing yourself in the truth. Yeah. Now you can't make another brother you so yeah. to speak like, like that's that's his spirit you know what I'm saying and vice versa you know like another part of this ministry is we're beginning to really know ourselves you know what I'm saying somebody's been learning um the reason why the lord don't give us certain brothers women like you really don't even know yourself yeah you know what I'm saying like you you really you ain't even mastered yourself yeah you know what I'm saying let alone like because you get a woman you're supposed to be the master over her but you ain't mastered your situation man hey, and that's and that's a heavy but you know why it takes so long to do that because Babylon doesn't teach you self-mastery. Nah. Like, Babylon doesn't teach you the art of manhood. Be, be trending. Yeah, it teaches you to be trending. Babylon teaches you to, to, to obey your thirst and to go off your natural devices. But really, as a man of your how about your side, your goal as a young man is to, to tame those natural devices. Because, how, like you said, how are you going to discipline her if you ain't disciplining yourself? You know? All right, you got it, Captain. And this is on um, Galatians. Uh, 5 and 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Yep. And you should not fulfill the lust of the flesh, meaning you should not be driven by your flesh, man. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to, you got balance in the flesh. You know, you, you balance yourself out, but you're not, that's not going to be your MO. Right. You know? Right. Because when that's your MO, then you choke out the spirit, man. Mm -hmm. You know? So so compromise. Yep. This is uh, the book of Psalms. Chapter 16, verse 1. Preserve me, O Yahweh, for in thee do I put my trust. And basically, man, if, if it's something you want, man, just pray to the Lord for it, man, and just let it be. If it's going to be something that's beneficial to you or good for you, hey, just have faith the Lord is going to deliver it, man. But don't go out your way to put yourself in a bad position yeah. for something that's not going to be profitable, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 7. Wherefore I prayed, and understanding was given me. I called on the Most High, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. That's it, man. And the Lord is going to give you a, a, a mindset to move wisely, man. So if, if it's something that the Lord has put for you, hey, naturally, man, if you're moving through the spirit, you're going to gravitate to whatever it is, whether it's a woman, you know what I'm saying, a job, or whatever the case may be, man. But if it's not for you, then the spirit should be dealing with you. And you see, like Brother brought a minute ago, that red flag, yeah. that warning sign. Something should, through the spirit, let you know that, nah, this this might not be it. And I'm going to say this, and a beautiful case example was King Solomon. Yep. Because King Solomon sought after the kingdom of heaven, and everything was... I got it, bro. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mocked you a little bit, bro. Wow. Uh, Matthew 6 and 33. <laughs> but seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh. and it's all about. Yep. Seeking first the kingdom. You know, so that's what our mind's supposed to be focused on at all times. But there's balance within that. Mm -hmm. But that's the point, though. That's supposed to be the primary goal. That that is our purpose as active prop as active prophets. Okay. Go Ma ahead, bro. Yep, Matthew six and thirty three. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and His righteousness, mm -hmm. and all these things shall be added unto you. Hey, and then, like now, you know, things do get added to us, but we we're still growing in the spirit. But when we come to that roadblock. Sometimes the most high takes things away so we can get around or through that roadblock. Yep. That's mercy too. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, because he could take you out. 
instead of taking the thing out of your life, he could take you out. That's right. Yeah. So as the as the hopeful elect, you know, he'll hey, he'll take it from you so you can get back focused, man. All right. All right. Hey, this is uh, uh, Philippians three and thirteen, brother. I count not myself to apprehend, but those things, but these one thing I do to get those things which are behind, which are forward unto the, those things which before. Because look, making making carnality your lifestyle, that's an American dream. That's an American thing, man. Uh, uh, trying to achieve the highest pinnacle in America, you know. And that being on the forefront of your life, that's that's something you should leave behind. Because yeah. the most high gonna give you things that's, that's efficient for you and your purpose. Mm -hmm. All right, but we, we're kingdom minded. Right. We're, we're, we're not crusading to make this our kingdom. Right, right. We're crusading to get in the kingdom. That's right. So it's gonna have to be a cap on everything you do, man. All right, because you got to get you just gonna have to say, I get it in the kingdom. That's it. Yeah. And then with your sacrifices, you can't dwell on your sacrifices. Yep. Those were an offering. Ooh. That's an offering, yeah. right? So in order to get to the better you, in order to get to the kingdom of heaven, you have to sacrifice, you have to offer up things. But once you do that, you can't be thinking about, oh, shit. Yeah. I, I remember back in the day, this time frame. Hey, that's the flesh. That's the flesh. <clears throat> and you think about the sacrifice. Once you put that sacrifice on the altar and you begin to burn it, then halfway through it, you want to take it off. Yeah. The, 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 the sacrifice already dead. Yeah. 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 You know, it's halfway burnt. Yeah. You know, you might just pull back a leg, yeah. you know, on the right. piece of back. Right. You know, it's, it's, it's got third degree burn. Yeah. 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 Once you put that on the altar, it's over with, man. Right. Verse 14. I preach towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of the Most High. Now, we preach to the kingdom. Like I, 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 I uh, focus is on the kingdom. We ain't looking back. God damn, I should, I should, I should, I should got that bad ass job. You know, I had a job. Mm -hmm. I could have worked off short, make all the money. Man, fuck that. Right, right, hey, right. fuck that, man. Look, we, we look, we looking for the kingdom, man. Yeah. And my, my brother can have many wives they want. Mm -hmm. Yes, many wives they want. Yeah. Like yeah. spiritual yeah. power. Yeah. And and, yeah. and yeah. And, slaves. And, and, slaves. Mm -hmm. And Rain we how about shot. That, look, that's what we're looking for. Yeah, right. it really it's gonna it's gonna solve all our yeah. desires. Yeah. Because you you got like a certain brothers, you know, like uh Jake Heaven to the stones and stuff like that. You know, you can only buy so much on the side. You only do so much with it on the side. Yeah. Then the kingdom, our whole kingdom gonna be made out of that, man. The streets of Jerusalem, the, the, the streets of your city, or you know, your, your whole country, you know. Then the right. got a planet, you know, a planet about you, planet, you know, the house. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you probably got like a you know a, a theme for your planet. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a certain animals that like we gonna get into all that, man. Right. Then, then the, the benefits of it. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. Then we gonna have time. Then we gonna have time. Yeah. Time, man, and work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even if we ain't got to, we gonna get uh, just the book of uh, Sirach. Pretty much, this is a prayer. Um, Sirach 23 and one. It says, "Oh Lord, oh Lord, Father and Governor." Of all my whole life, and this is just to be praying for, man. Hey, man. Hey, ba hey, I speak from experience, man. Hey, Babylon is full of distractions. You be praying for the wrong things, man. Yeah. Hey, real man, you have a shot. We pray for self control. All right. It's we don't. It. We don't. Look, I'm sorry, brother. We don't pray to have more. We pray to have discipline to be without those things, so we can be better prophets. Yeah. Stoics. Stoics. Yeah. And it's not to say, look, don't get nothing nice. But no, we hey, hey, no, you're supposed to be in a mindset of really discipline. Yeah. All right. Spirit, because I was watching the apostles um, not too long ago, and they say they, they live a hard life. Yeah. A hard life. That's a stoic lifestyle, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I think Apostle Charles said, man, I ain't never owned nothing new, you know? Yeah. But hey, but but look at the lot the most high has yeah. given him in the yeah. spirit, though. The spirit's called a pilgrim. Mm -hmm. You know, you a pilgrim, you, you always on the move. You, we we got to be built up to really like leave all this behind anyway. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Uh, what you said about Apostle Tari, he's easily ready to go when that time comes. Yeah, but no attachment. No, no attachment. That's a good spiritual mindset to have. Not being too attached you know, to the things of this uh, corner life. Yeah. Uh, and what less is more. Mm -hmm. Less in the spirit is more. I mean, less in the flesh is more in the spirit. It said, leave me not to their counsels and let me not fall by them. Yep. Who would set scourges over my thoughts yep. and the discipline of wisdom over my heart? Yep. That they spare me not for my ignorances, 
and it passed not by my sins. Yep. At least my ignorance is increased and my sins are bound to my destruction and I'll fall before my adversaries and my enemy rejoice over me. Yeah, who's, can I say something? You got it, bro. Hey, hey, that's why uh, uh, Yahweh Shah said um, in the book of Revelation, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, be zealous therefore and repent. Because he's the one that sent those scourges over, uh, you know, your thoughts, different things that happen to you. Because the Lord, he correct us, you know, through through brothers, through circumstances. Mm -hmm. we'll go, hey, going back to the apostle saying what he said in that lesson, you know, when the Spirit's talking to you. And, and, and you're going to know it's not going to be a mistake. Like the Lord, he's going he gonna to tell you, you know, like the, the right thing, man, whether it's through counsel or, or certain things happen to you. But it's to protect you because the time we're coming into, um, Jada's going to get caught up in those different things. They don't have a hedge, man. Yeah. You know, the, the, the Lord ain't been working on them. You know what I'm saying? It's good to talk about scores and your thoughts because one thing about it, the spirit that had you, you know, feeling guilty about particular things, man. That's yeah. off. You yeah. know, that's the spirit scourging your thoughts, man. Yeah. You know, the spirit will be telling you this ain't it. You know, you'll see something. That's why a lot of times, yeah, you know, you'll see brothers shaking their head because in their mind, they, they're having the counsel like, this ain't it. And they came to the conclusion yeah. like, yeah. this ain't it. You know? Hmm. So, that's a fearful thing not to have that because one thing about it, the most I can put the spirit on you to make it seem like something wrong is right. You know, yeah. so you pray to keep that score on your thoughts to give you that discretion yeah. to know, okay, this is off. You know, yeah. to keep reading. It says, Oh Lord, Father, and power of my life, give me not a proud look, but turn away from thy servants always a haughty mind. Yep. Turn away from me vain hopes and concupiscence, and it was just lust, different types of lust. Yep, and thou shalt hold him up. That is desirous always to serve thee. Because, yeah. uh, well, like, you should make a point? No, I was going to the next scripture. Yeah. All right, well, hey, uh, King David said, I delight after the law of the Most High, after the inward man. Mm -hmm. So the thing that uh, 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 Sirach was praying over was things that inhibit the, uh, the inner man. Yeah. Because you, you lust of the belly, I think it's going to go into it. Yeah, this, this, yeah. yeah, the lust of the belly, the mind, just the lust of the flesh, it, it chokes out the spirit. But he's praying to keep that from me. And the only thing that's left is that angel inside of me that's willing to serve you, man. Mm -hmm. You know? This is verse 6. It said, Let not the greediness of the belly nor lust of the flesh take hold of me, and give not over me thy servant into an impudent mind. Yeah, the, the, the lust of the belly, the lust of your flesh. Yeah. All right? And it, impudent, it, it basically becoming stubborn. Yeah. Basically because when a person gets to the point to where they're willful, but they can't be told anything. It's, it's pretty much over. You on your way out of there. You on your way out. Yeah. Yep. Hey, brother, get there, man. Scriptures. I, I got one for you. Okay, go ahead. All right. Um, in the timeline. Because you know, because the main point of lesson is basically looking forward to the kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Second Ezra, chapter seven and verse sixteen. And this is the archangel uh, Uriel had told Ezra. Why hast thou not considered in thy mind this thing that is to come, rather than that which is present? Yep. And, it's, and well, that's the, 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 the psalm of the whole lesson. All right, you focus on now, and hey, you should be yeah. focused on the kingdom, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah, Leave it all behind. Because everything yeah. now should be preparing you for what's to come. Like, we got to surround ourselves with things that's preparing us for what's to come, you know? Because even, like, what brothers at in their life is a conditioning to prepare them for what's to come, you know? And you don't want to add anything that's rooted here. You know, you don't want to add anything to your situation that's rooted here. You know, and if you do deal with something that's rooted here, you got to deal with it with discretion, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and have the understanding that this is this is a great chance that this is going to be left here. You know, right? All right, Tyler, Lord. All right, this is Michael 2 and 10. Rise ye and depart. For this is not your rest, because this is polluted. It will, dest it will destroy you. It was sort of scripture. You're going to say the term polluted means poison. And from a spiritual standpoint, this carnal lifestyle poisons out your spirit. That's mm -hmm. right. Because yeah. Babylon, the king of Esau, I mean, I'm sorry, the king of Babylon, he has you moving as though you have no spirit. Yep. It's like you just, you, you're you on a dopamine high. You're on a, a flesh, your, dr your flesh is on a dopamine high, man. Endorphins. And endorphins and shit. Yeah. So you're just here to please your flesh. That's right. And now that's why Jake is perceived as somebody who's, who's not evolved. He's not civilized. Mm -hmm. He's a little bit as primitive. Because yeah. Esau put him in his concrete jungle, behaving like an animal, 
ensnaring him off his flesh. And he's governed by Satan. And he's governed by Satan. And every time they do wicked, they feel good about it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They are inspired. Mm -hmm. They have to, like you are working out, you know, you feel good after you work out. Mm -hmm. well, that's how they are wicked are. When they do something wicked, they feel good about this shit. Right. It's a score. Like adultery, smoking weed, mm -hmm. selling drugs, and all that shit. You know? Yep. I got a quote. Yep. Right, I got a piece of back of this. It's from Bruce Lee. It says, absorb what is useful, discard what is not, mm -hmm. add what is uniquely your own. Hey, if I can mm -hmm. add, if I can add, like, that's one of the quotes of Kobe. He said the whole, he said the whole world was like a uh, a classroom for him. Mm -hmm. Like, he, he could pull different things from everywhere to add them to himself. And that's really like, amongst the brothers, like, it's not for you to, uh, to mimic a brother, but a brother might have a certain yeah. characteristic or... Mm -hmm certain way that he moves that you can add to you you know and it benefits you you know so this is what we're we're learning you know how to be well rounded that's the that's the main thing within the ministry is that we're we're learning how to be well rounded you know we know how to deal with jake you know from this area you know how to deal with jake from this area we can get on esau level and deal with higher things like the, the whole thing of this ministry was to teach us to be well rounded so when we get put in rulership we understand these different perspectives, man. Mm -hmm. So when we govern, when we when we got to judge a situation between Elam and Moab in the kingdom, we can have a, a true righteous perspective right, right. on how to judge it because we have been well rounded within this last captivity, man. Like wisdom of Solomon yeah. seven says, wisdom taught him the reasonings of men. Yep. Mm -hmm. You said you have a scripture behind yeah, it. Just back up, Yasha, you know about the mimicking part. Yeah. It's nothing wrong because the scriptures talk about godly jealousy. You know, yeah. so yeah. by uh, not even your brother what he has in the spirit, but you know what I'm saying? Not, of course not envy a brother of his carnal things that he has, man. Yeah. But you can envy a brother in the spirit like, man, I, I like how you do this, how you move yeah. in the spirit like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can uh, adapt that to my yeah. lifestyle. Apostle Paul said, though, yeah, that, uh, covet spiritual gifts. Right. Yeah. But even even how a brother moves carnally, like if he manages money mm -hmm. good, you could mm -hmm. pick yeah. up on that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You see how he moves in his house, you know, yeah. if you ever been over his house? Right. You know? You can get a scripture, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is Matthew, you know, you want to be real Okay. It's uh, wisdom of Solomon 6. I started at verse uh, 17. It says, um, I'm sorry, 16. For she go about seeking such as are worthy of her, showing herself favorably unto them in the ways, and meeted them in every thought. Like y'all was saying, like through the spirit, like uh, when you know something's going off, it's not right for your spiritual lifestyle and it's true and you know that's telling you hey don't move that way right. you know so those are spiritual signs so your spiritual thoughts are going to influence your carnal decisions mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's really how I should send up that guardian angel look over you that's it you know? that fear because you want you want love to, to, to you want to have faith in, in, in your by and fair so you try your best to live right do right and act right mm -hmm. so basically it's that fear really mm -hmm. right. it's weak Verse 17, for the very be true beginning of her is the desire of discipline, and the care of discipline is love. And if you desire something, you're craving. And love is an action. Yeah. Love is an action. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. It's right. And love is the keeping of her laws and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. Right. And incorruption making us near unto Yahweh by Shema. And that's why Esau pushed a sinful lifestyle amongst our people since uh, Judah's father's women. Yeah. Because he knows the more our people sin, the yeah. further. Yeah. We're going right. to discontinue from the relationship of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. However, he never factor in the elect. Yeah. He never factor in <laughs> the elect. It's a spiritual war. That's a spiritual strategy because uh, he's mm -hmm. planning to bring Jacob trouble. Mm -hmm. So he wants you. He pretty much has the masses of our people isolated. That's right. Separated away yeah. from their power. So now he can have his way, man. <laughs> you know, That's they're going to be calling on everything but the Most High. Yeah. Uh, and what he's trying to do, he's trying to strangle us like uh, within this society mm -hmm. uh, so we can count on him. Yeah. You know, so for the one of all things. That's right. You know? This is Matthew chapter 5, verse 5. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they. That's it. That's it, uh. Hey, they should inherit the earth. And like you brought that scripture in Psalm 2, ask me, I should give thee the heathen for thy inheritance. All right, but it mentioned the land of the earth. The other most part, because the, 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 the slaves come with the earth. The heathen come with the possession of the earth. Mm -hmm. So it says when it says the because they quote this scripture in church. Mm -hmm. The meek shall inherit the earth. Right. Like, don't you know they're talking about inheriting people yeah. along with the earth? Yeah. Right. Like you gonna inherit slaves? Yeah. 
Yeah. But that's going to be an accolade. So, yeah, you get to treat your slaves like shit. Yeah. Right. You know, you get to have a multitude of wives. Mm -hmm. All right, well, you can have, you can dig out as many uh, lapis lazuli stones yeah. as possible. Mm -hmm. All right, it's not going to be no limit to the kingdom. But right now, we got to be patient yeah. into the kingdom. You know, it's talking about uh, people cause what the scriptures say about why it's earth and ashes proud. Right. right. It's, you know, people. it's people, man. It ain't no damn earth and ashes. Right. Ain't no damn problem. The earth left. <laughs> nah, it's people, man. Right. Right. Maybach come with that driver, man. Yeah, it's right. That's yeah. right. And the umbrella. That's right. Hey, but, hey, but with that, we hope you brothers and sisters were edified. Once again, we want to give all honor and glory to you. Hello, by Shirley, I'm shot by Shirley, I'm Josh. Then we honor our elder apostles and elder bishops of the Great Millstone Rule Well. Peace and blessings shout the world to the house of David the elect. A Baba Baba. 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 Baba